by Okay Mordi. Yeah, for the former Academy Warriors player. Adamu loses possession of the ball but gets uh, a throw in. So we've seen three minutes of additional time played as against the two added in. Once again, it's Ikecheku. Ibanegu, free header. Goal! It was covered on the near post, but the ball still being stuck away. Hartland in front for the first time in this encounter, and the fans eventually have something to cheer about. And only about six minutes remaining in the game. It's going to be tough for Ismaili now. Well, you see the despair in the Ismaili camp. He could see himself at the bottom of the pile here in Group B by the end of 90 minutes. And Hartland from a set piece. Have been and now that goal from Tochukwe Son brings back into sharp perspective the opening goal by Rangers International which was hotly disputed. Did he go over the line? Did he not? Well, if Hatland do, they lose by two goals to one, they would look at that and say if the decision had gone their way, they probably would have taken it from the near side to Hatland. A grinder and a chance for lower power seed over. I tell you what, Ralph, this game has really lived up to billing. It's been a fantastic display of football by both sides. Even though Hatland has been well beaten here, they've uh, take, done their turn, they've had their chances, missed them, but Rangers International, you can't begrudge them, they've really been clinical in front of goal. If they win by three goals to one here today, you have to remember they also missed the penalty, so it could have been... quickly to clear his lines but it's still Rangers now that one is right forward and that young say is there again it was a fair do he was almost at the end of another one and was almost going to double the lead of Rangers street pass coming from Ibokwe for the defense of Hatland it's actually taking on the pick to Suleiman Dogo as it's clear now he's continued from where Ospino Egbe stopped and uh, Hatland winning that ball back to the up. Not the best of uh, corner kicks, you must say. There is Dolphins now turning around very well. There is Abubakar Muhammad. And it's a race on. <laughs> Just got out of the way by Emmanuel Olowo into touch. Throw in Dolphins. I'm rather surprised the way Mohamed put that ball on the run. It was too far away from him to catch up with as Olowo was. Watching at players again. And then the flag stays down that time. It is Abubakar Mohammed pressing for that one. Oh, great defending. Absolutely top 
much defending from Emmanuel Oluwu. Look at the ease and the consummate experience and professionalism with which he did that. Did that. A field. Victor Babayaro with the throw. A corner kick, I should think, indeed, a rare corner kick for Dolphins. Hartland have had their numerous corner kicks. Dolphins are getting here on the local scene, they're also trying to keep it together. A good one going forward and first, beautiful first touch there by Uche Carlo. Roving from left to right, almost at will. And oh, that was a close one again. It's Jackson who lobs the ball away. He's the man who has been doing a yeoman's job for his side here. And the coach of Hartland, Ludwig the Krayoff, really watching Rikin interest that effort that time. Good defensive work done by Joseph Jackson. He's been up front. Some hard tackling here, and uh, most of them professionally done. None to draw the wrath of the referee, except for something like that one. Carlo Uche Carlo being dropped down, a quack in the back from the strongly built Emmanuel Olowo. A big man, Olowo, bringing Uche Carlo. Yes, on paper, they would appear to be the better of the two sides. Yes, on paper, they would appear to be the better prepared of the two sides. A tugging, a shut tugging, and uh, well, the referee lets it ride. I think he had made a statement early on in the game by flashing two quick yellow cards. Uh, if I knew it, otherwise, he would have picked up a card here. But the big man, Oluo, was taught, and uh, he went down, and if I knew there. Koulibaly with the clearance. For Jay's Kavidi. No offside again, still Gia. And he's already tested the goalkeeper once, but he won't get a chance to test him this time. Ball tucked away. Right, thank God, Ike. Ten of Hartland to clear the danger a bit more. Here is the opportunity once again from Ugia. Just the outstretched boot, forcing the ball away from the danger zone. That was the save. Another look for Saad Tejar. Now Himiti cleared by Olawu for a corner. In stoppage time then in Tizi Uzu, group stage, Champions League match, round two of Group B, Jace Kapili, the home side, Heartland, the visitors from Nigeria, it's level at nil. Late challenge from Santesha on the Olowo, both sides. Footsteps of Al Hadari, the famous Egyptian international. At the other end now, it's the captain that gets it away, Emmanuel Olowo. Also, the management of Hartland. to touch it. <laughs> with his assistant at his flag up and Mohammed uh, Al Husseini not happy with uh, the call. Look at these substitutions that have been made. So it look a little bit more lively. It's a player down for our Hartland, but uh, play will continue. There's going to be a corner here and uh, will allow Bello to receive attention. From the championships coming in the late 80s and uh, early 90s. Now there's an opportunity for a breakaway here for Jace Kapili. It was always going to be the biggest threat from the Algerian outfit one feels. Ball poached away. So Hartland will go on to, will try to go on and win this encounter. They lead by a goal to nil. Goal coming from the penalty spot. But uh, in all honesty, Chase Kabili haven't really been able to test Daniel Akpe at all. It's Kabili. Kabili will clear for Chase Kabili. 
charge of the near side touch line by Remash. A good clearance from Olavu. Ball out towards the near side, just manages to elude Olavu. He has an opportunity for Heartland. Great chance, and it's gone past the upright to, to make it through into the round of 32. Yes, the opportunity that was created just a few moments ago, and a lovely piece of defending from these. He's a orchestrates a second fight at the cherry. He gets a third fight at the cherry. Opportunity from a tightening angle. Comes off the top of the crossbar. Unbelievable. Once again, the defense of Hartland at sixes and sevens and a low will. Bendam over to him, Salam. Now Hartland have blocked. Oh. Good looking shot though. This is the opportunity created just moments ago off the top of the crossbar. Be better focused than they've been throughout most of the afternoon. Once again, it's Ikecheku. Ibanegu, free header. Goal! There was cover on the near post, but the ball still being stuck away. Hartland in front for the first time in this encounter.